A quick disclaimer. I am being paid to make this video by the European Union and NS Gojari as part of a series meant to share several wonderful geologic features within the nation of Slovakia. Today, gold is actively being mined at a location adjacent to Slovakia's town of Banska Škačnica, much like it has been since approximately 1,000 years ago. The ore in question contains thick sulfide mineralization, but the golden-colored mineralization you are looking at is not gold, but rather the copper ore mineral chalcopyrite. Instead, the gold occurs as numerous less than 3mm diameter crystals scattered throughout the host rock, resulting in an average grade of 8 grams of gold per metric ton of ore. While more than 255,000 troy ounces of gold have been produced from this mine, the reason it exists is quite unusual, as this rich mineralization formed due to volcanism related to an ancient supervolcano. This supervolcano is known as Škatsnica, which once was an absolutely stunning glacier-topped stratovolcano that rose to an impressive height of 4,000 meters or slightly more than 13,100 feet. However, this volcano would subsequently produce a catastrophic eruption as 13.85 million years ago so much volcanic rock was ejected in a mere 72 hour time span that a site 15 kilometers distant was coated in a whopping 100 meters thick of material at these GPS coordinates. Alongside ejecting hundreds of cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, the eruption caused the 4,000 meter high stratovolcano to collapse into a massive caldera that measured 22 kilometers long and 18 kilometers wide. The story of the Škačnica supervolcano began approximately 15 million years ago during a time when this section of south central Slovakia was actually beachfront property. As to the south, a massive inland sea existed known as the Pannonian Sea, which was approximately half the area of the modern Black Sea. In this ancient sea, at its very northern edge sprung up a series of volcanic islands along a chain of activity. As andesitic magma from Stratznica erupted through the shallow seafloor, it created a series of white and black colored explosions, eventually creating a small plateau out of ash. As additional eruptions continued, a dark gray colored volcanic crone interwoven with layers of lighter gray ash climbed more than 100 meters above the sea surface. Fast forward 10,000 years and repeated moderate volume explosive eruptions had expanded this volcano to make it no longer an island, but rather a peninsula. While Škatsnica's summit climbed to more than 1,000 meters above sea level, some magmatic intrusions failed and did not reach the surface, which, as they cooled, created the aforementioned gold ore alongside lacoliths and sills. Some batches of localized magma around 14.5 million years ago became more silica-rich, allowing for more viscous dacite domes to form on the stratovolcano's slopes. Finally reaching a height of 4,000 meters, Škačnica now had a diameter of 50 to 60 kilometers, encompassing 4.8% of modern Slovakia's landmass. Glaciers then developed, a large 1,000 meter wide crater was visible on its summit, and a secondary volcanic cone 4 kilometers to the west-southwest grew. Yet, at depth, an unusually large magma chamber was building, totaling more than 100 cubic kilometers of material. Additionally, several smaller magma bodies were experiencing fractional crystallization, causing their composition to change from andesite to dacite and then rhyolite. Finally, a portion of the andesitic magma intruded into the small rhyolitic magma chamber. This caused a chain reaction to occur, sending large volumes of both magma chambers to the surface. All at once, several vents oriented along an east-northeast trending fissure explosively erupted, sending a plume of ash 50 kilometers into the atmosphere. Dense parts of this eruption column then fell back to the ground, going on to race across the surrounding landscape at speeds exceeding 200 kilometers per hour, eventually reaching as far away as 60 kilometers distant. As a firestorm swept much of the surrounding landscape, thick piles of ash and pyroclastic flow deposits piled up. Then, due to the thick amount of erupted material, which likely totaled approximately 385 cubic kilometers of rock, Škačnica's underlying magma chamber was now significantly drained. This caused a 22 kilometer wide stretch of ground to collapse downwards like a sinkhole and filled this empty space, forming a vast caldera which was more than 500 meters deep. This catastrophic eruption would be assigned a 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, being more voluminous than the largest of the Campi Flagri supervolcano's eruptions. 
In the remains of this largely destroyed volcano, volcanism would not occur for another 400,000 years. However, activity would eventually resume where numerous andesite lava flows filled much of the existing caldera over a 600,000 year period. While this volcano's underlying magma chamber was slowly refilling, the at-depth material pushed up the center of the volcano, forming what is known as a resurgent dome until 11.4 million years ago. Some large cracks allowed rhyolite to erupt onto the surface during this time span, forming more than a dozen rhyolite lava domes. After this, eruptive activity completely ceased, and the remnants of this now permanently extinct volcano were significantly eroded over millions of years to create its modern appearance.